everyone today we are going to talk about prompts or prompting so why is that important a prompt is important because it will produce the response in questions such that it can be reinforced prompts can be physical verbal imitative or gestural if this sounds interesting to you then keep on watching physical prompt is physical guidance like here we have two toys ball and car but I want the child to touch the ball so if this is the child's hand I'm gonna go hold it and guide it directly touching the ball that's physical prompt an example of a verbal prompt is uh, you are saying an SD now it's time for your break or now it's time to do your homework or it's time to go home so that's gonna be a verbal prompt for imitative you are demonstrating how to do a certain task here we are demonstrating how to do a proper hand washing. Or you might be teaching the child how to sharpen her or his pencil. Then you have to demonstrate it properly to your learner for him to follow. Another example of an imitative prompt is to demonstrate to your learners how to make a puzzle or how to play with their toy cars how to push a car that's going to be an example of an imitative prompt as well an example of a gestural prompt is to point to the globe when the client is to pick it up two toys in here again a robot and a car and your SD goes like this show me the car immediately you are pointing to the car and that's gonna be a gestural prompt so as the behavior begins to increase in frequency the prompts are gradually withdrawn until the client is performing the skills independently because what is our end goal here is to have our learners doing their task independently the goal of a prompt is to evoke the behavior so that it can be reinforced right thus in the initial stage of training the prompt should always be strong enough so that it can produce the behavior that we are expecting because using a weak or unreliable prompts defeats the whole purpose of using prompts. Because some other clients, verbal prompts are just enough. And for others, physical prompts are needed. So as teachers, we should always learn to recognize what kind of prompt is necessary for a given client. So we already know that the goal of prompting is to teach a new behavior and prompts can be an effective tool to achieve this end. But remember that prompts are not a permanent part of the task and should therefore be faded or gradually withdrawn over time such that the behavior is exhibited without the prompt there are also problems in fading one could be that the teacher sometimes use weak prompts in the initial stage of training and as a result the client does not perform the behavior often enough or well enough to frequently obtain the reinforcement remember that without effective prompts the client will never learn the task and another thing perhaps the prompts were just faded too quickly as well and lastly during the first time that we give the child a demand for for a new skill or is the first time 
we don't want the child to fail and teaching the child with simultaneous prompt in order not to commit an error or before an error occurred is also very important so thank you so much for watching and have a great day like and share if you find this video helpful to you and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for any questions or suggestions just leave your comment down below till next time keep safe and Masalam. salam.